Gray. Gage up in support from left back. And a goal! It's Daly! And Tony Daly, who would love to play at Manchester City every week. He scored now in three games in a row here for Aston Villa. We've not had five minutes. And Aston Villa have a goal to celebrate. Kevin Gage did very well indeed. Ron Atkinson. There's all credit to Kevin Gage. He's gone through, he's taking it off the side, which is not supposed to be his best side, left-footed. And he's dug out a brilliant ball here. And, and Daly's where he should be, on the uh, on the far post with an empty net to head into. That came off Lake, and Mountfield is going to get there. And Dibble rescued Manchester City. Platt was flying in. He thought the ball was loose and he was entitled to compete for it. That wasn't a feeling shared by the Manchester City defenders, and Andy Dibble is laid out. The referee is going to talk to Platt, and the notebook is out. Oldfield! It was a moment of opportunism, really. Bishop takes the free kick. Gale, White, and Spink has to make an awkward save from David Oldfield. Well, the referee has sorted out the incident on the far side involving Stuart Gray and Trevor Morley. Let's go back to my point. Yes, John. I feel that Clive Allen's a great mover. It's a red card, I'm sorry. I've got to cut across you there. And they both have to go. Well, it all started at this throw. Gray cleared and Morley came into him and then Gray retaliated and pushed him down. Manchester City still looking for the final ball from that build-up on the right-hand side that's such an essential part of the way they play the game. Oldfield, White in again, it's an excellent ball! And it's Lake, and then it's Spink. Good move. My goodness. By Clive Allen's high standards, that was a straightforward opportunity. But he tucked it against the inside of the post. Lake, with a difficult ball to hit the second time, forced the goalkeeper into the save. But White making an impact now. White whips it in with the left foot. Allen! Mountfield, oh, and it's in. Ian Olney, we've seen a good corner now, Ron. That's the proof to say we have now. <laughs> they proved you wrong, Ron, again. That's the game. That was a great ball in, wasn't it? Yeah, but that, that was exactly the point I was trying to make. I mean, that, that was that was perfect. Mountfield blocked by Fleming twice, but Olney found the roof of the net. Back to league football comes Justin Fashionu. He's 28 years old now. His career finished in this country, it seemed, by a knee injury. His last appearance in the Football League was for Brighton in January 1986. This is interesting. It's a difficult ball for Fleming. Daly for Platt. It's not an easy angle, but he made the goalkeeper save it. Having, a, having plenty of the ball and enjoying himself. But Allen's quick free kick, Oldfield with a blast at goal. Oh, Redmond, and it's Birch with acres of space, and Tony Daly across the pitch. The flag has stayed down, and Andy Dibble dropped down to prevent what looked like a certain third for Villa. And a 2-0 victory for Aston Villa.